Hi, boys and girls. This is Miss Cranford. I'm going to read to you the story of La Princesa and the Pea. This is a North Carolina Children's Book Award nominee, and it is written by Susan, well, it's retold by Susan Middleton Elia and illustrated by Juana Martinez Neal. Retold means that the story is a very old story that has been retold many times, and this particular author has told the story again in her own words. La Princesa and the Pea. There's going to be quite a few Spanish words in the story, but I think you're going to be able to figure out what they mean just by listening to the story. Because La Princesa, you can already figure out that that's the princess. There once was a prince who wanted a wife, but not any niña would do in his life. His madre was picky. She hoped for perfection. The prince was so lonely, in need of affection. But here came a maiden en route to her castle. I hope I can stay here if it's not a hassle. She winked at the prince who fell for her fast. No matter what mom says, I'll marry this lass. Ooh, he likes her. The prince said, come in. But his mother, La Reina, decided to test her. Would this girl be buena? Mama sneaked away to the royal jardin, which is a garden, and she found a small pea that was fit for a queen. She guarded the pea pod and took up the stairs. If this girl is worthy, she'll feel that it's there. She placed El Guisante in the bed for her guest. She yelled, Viente mattress! Lofty request. The queen settled in with her box of bombones while lots of strong workers came in with colchones. Uno was suave, dos was pequeño, tres was muy grande, cuatro un sueño. <laughs> Several were pinstriped, some made of fleece, others were dotted or checkered or gris, which means gray. The queen ate her treats, the bed was stacked high, and right when they finished, La Nina came by. Here is your comma, a place you can sleep. Thanks, said the girl. I won't even count sheep. Can you see the tiny little pea? right there. Look at that guinea pig. That's pretty cute. Meanwhile, El Principe practiced I do's. He knew that his this maiden was one he could choose. I like her, Mama, he said with a lilt. We'll see, said the queen, as she fluffed up the quilt. The girl stretched her brazos and yawned with her boca. But the bed felt so lumpy, like there was a raca. The little guisante was twenty times deep. Could it be the reason the girl got no sleep? There's the little guinea pig again. She trudged down to breakfast, her ojo so droopy. And how was your slumber? La Reina was snoopy. Great, said the girl, if you like hard and lumpy. Oh, pobrecita, the prince said, you're grumpy. Their guest brightened up as she noticed the lad. Really, she murmured, it wasn't that bad. I thought La Reina. How'd she detect it? Is she a real princess? I think I suspect it. She signaled her son that the girl passed the test. Drat, she had managed to stave off the rest. She has a cat on her head, a grumpy cat on her head. The prince soon proposed with a golden anillo. 
They married that week in the royal Castillo ring and castle. The queen kept her promise and threw a big boda. The bride wore a wedding gown, stylish de moda. Accepto, accepto, they both said I do. And still to this day, the queen has no clue. The prince had put pitchforks and stones in la cama to help his, his true love Pass the test of Queen Mama. Look at the guinea pig. Uh, 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 uh. The prince and his bride had hijos, children galore, one for each mattress, and then had no more. <laughs> that was pretty funny. There's the guinea pig again. Again, this is a North Carolina Children's Book Award nominee, and these are this is one of the many vote one of the many books that you're going to get to choose from when EM Yoder votes for our favorite North Carolina Children Book Award nominee. This is La Princesa and the Pea.